So I and Elo, this is again Alan the Forex Algo Trader and in today's video I'm going to show you how to delete objects on chart in this case or uh, ob basically objects that you create on your chart in this case. So basically you could have be having uh, some complicated uh, objects on your chart in this case that uh, that you maybe want to get rid of after or, or after or uh, on you de initialize your expert advisor in this case. So maybe you could be having an object like uh, what? Maybe an object like, uh, let me just attach that one for it to be loading in this case. Then I can maybe be having what? What? Uh, I'm trying to figure out any other object that, uh, that uh, we created in this case. So maybe I can also attach uh, and, uh, this uh, thing in this uh, matter so maybe maybe you have such a beautiful object in this case so maybe you going to get rid of this uh, object that uh, that gets created in this case or uh, maybe another object like uh, this one which gets created in this case whenever you initialize your expert advisor so for you to for visualization purposes in this case i have just went ahead and created an extra expert advisor to just basically create uh, an object on in our chart just as uh, you can see uh, basically over here so let me just open the file in this case so basically what i have done here if i were to uncomment my over here in this case now if i were to uncomment this one maybe basically i've just went ahead and uh, created uh, uh, on this file name this delete objects file that i have over there i've created whenever i initialize the expert advisor i just basically create an uh, an object a button in this case to be specific a button on the chart with the x distance the y distance the size of 100 and then the x size of 100 maybe i can actually have like uh, something like 250 in here or maybe 200 then i can have instead of that you can have 50 in this uh, case doesn't again really matter in that uh, in this uh, case so at this point now if i were to just compile this one it does compile fine fine if i just go to my expert uh, advisor in here and then attach my expert advisor on the chart maybe we have delete over here i just want to attach it in this case so that we can create a uh, the other particular object in this case so let me see it just takes some time so in this case you can see now let me just clear off these uh, objects that uh, object list so let me just clear these uh, objects so most of the time this is how you have to manually clear the objects that you create on the chart so just go and delete again this is now our object however i just want to delete it again in this case so let me just initialize it again so once you initialize this is not the object that we basically create in this case so whenever you just go on and then remove the expert advisor from the chart the object still remains there which means the objects are, are left on the chart the chart is left messy in this case so to get rid of this uh, object in this case doesn't really matter if it is this simple object that we have over here or this complex uh, a trading panel that we have created over here doesn't again really matter we just need to go to the to your code then delete the object manually in this case so just go to the od in its section over here and then delete the object in this case so you can just go ahead and use object object delete inbuilt function provide the chart id zero then provide the object name in this case now i'll just go like to come over here copy this one the the object name in this case then paste it over there again in a, a, a matter or, or a, an instance like that one so let me just compile this one to see if it is actually working as we anticipated to be in this case so right now i will just get rid of this one object list list all then delete the object in this case so let me just attach not that one it is delete objects over this one so just click on okay let me just see if the okay yeah now the object is again created however if i were to just go ahead again and remove the expert you can see the expert is de initialized as well as 
deleting the its uh, own uh, created objects in this case so actually i can also show you another trick that you can do how you can do this one another thing that you can do this one is uh, maybe you can just come over here and then again create maybe you can have something like uh, a string then instead of just having to repeat the object name over here maybe you can just have a string a string a string like uh, this one now is equals to string string our our object in this case now is equals to maybe now give the object its name so you can have something like one that doesn't really matter in this case then you have something like that one so right now instead of just going and creating an object like this one you can just uh, go ahead i would just basically like to copy this one copy and then have it over uh, here in this case so right now over here you just need to iterate this one to have the our object our object our object and basically everything this is now just general data our object our object our object in this case now again so okay it will be created at the same time so i would like to have this one how much how much the x what distance do i really play with over here let me just create this one just adjust the y the y uh, settings over here let me just have 150 in this case so 150 let me now compile this one then let me just now delete the object in here in this case so again object delete providing the chart id zero for the current chart in this case then the string name of uh, here the string name now will be this name particular name over here this is, which is now our object however it is not available so which means we will just need to cut it from this particular uh, point to the global scope which is now particularly over here again in this case so right now whenever it is now on the global scope we can now access it from there so our it is not yet documented why our object there it comes in uh, this case so right now i can just compile this one then uh, run it or uh, attach it on our chart in this case to see and wait for the object to be created so right now you can see we have two objects that are created in here uh, respectively in this case however they look to be too much uh, alike let me just uh, push it a little bit again lower maybe 200 in this case let me just compile it so right now until it is uh, compiled so let me just wait for them to be created so right now we have the first object and then the second object and as you can see if i were to just go ahead and remove them every object is now deleted or you may and uh, for this is not for the for the advanced uh, traders where you basically maybe come over here and then have something like uh, you just define your object in this case over uh, this point over here so most of the advanced traders of course you may be one one day if you want to be the advanced traders use something like this one they just define the object in this case so you maybe you are defined defined your object in this case uh, again here you can have our obj our obj or our object in this case now then you define it to be our object or a button in this case our button in this case now if you had defined your object to, uh, your object over there then you could have done something something like uh, this one let me copy you just create let me just create another object based on the current uh, definition that we make over there then we can have our object our object our obj our ob 
Okay. Our object, our object, object again. Then let me just push this new object a little bit again. How many? One. So now 300 points again down the line. The object, uh, the other button in this case. Then after that one, you may want to, to now just come here again. Then object, uh, object delete. In this case, delete. Long chart ID, then OBJ, our our object again in this case. So right now you can see again it does not really matter. So compile, it does compile again without any errors and warnings. So just initialize it. Let me attach it to the chart. So right now you can see. Let me wait for the initialization process to end in this case. So right now, you can see we have three objects. So the first object over here, will it give us our definition? It doesn't, this one doesn't. Okay, you can see we have created three objects. And whenever you go to the objects, uh, object list over here, and then list all, you can see we have the first object. We have the second the unt, our second object over here and then our third object over there and then instead of just having to close them manually whenever you initialize your uh, expert advisor whenever you remove it you can see the all uh, the all of the objects did you really see that sorry for that one let me just attach it once one more time so right now let me just change this one for so it is created in there again. So and then as a, as a, you can see, whenever you de-initialize the expert advisor, all of the objects are now gotten rid of. They get rid of in this case. So once more in this case now, this is now the full code that you need. You just need to use the keyword. Now here is now the object delete in this case in uh, that matter so that is all that uh, you needed to know in this particular lesson and uh, i hope you did enjoy it so if you did enjoy it uh, actually just consider to leave a like subscribe comment and then you can actually even share the video so the knowledge can be spread to others in this case so that is all bye bye till next time